This was me before the age of commerce, look at me. Things changed once commerce came to the lands. Farmers could farm and not risk everything for a few clan coins. This is me after commerce. Much better. What's up everyone, it's Easy Easy Street Gaming. Bring you the latest from Brutal Age. This is on commerce. This is what the totems are going to turn into. We'll go step by step on this. It's, it's not really hard, but it's kind of can be complex. Step one, teleport next to two different totems. Um, uh, if you look on the screen, I had set up in the corner of, of uh, the map to make it kind of easier for me. Uh, step two, click on, click on the totem. Click on the gold trading post icon, then select trading. Once you do that, then it's going to it's going to uh, bring you to the next screen, which is going to be set the march. Uh, it's going to set it for you. It's going to set the maximum amount of march that that it can hold for you. Um, with in my case, it was a thousand uh, troops. I used T1. Then, as soon as you're set, you'll march off to the two to two different totems. Just be, be mindful of the load, because uh, so I had thirteen thousand load without th without one thousand troops. Um, that can go way down if you use the wrong troops, and I, I, I'm not sure what T5 would do above T1. So step four, once you're inside the totem, you're going to buy something from both of the totems. I just bought one item until it was sold out, or until I hit my max weight. Once you hit the, your max weight, leave the totem, then click return on the march, and your march will go straight back to your outpost. It's right next to the totem. Step five will be the first complete process before we've gone and bought from the totem and come back. This time we're going to go to the totem, sell what we bought, and buy some more, and then come back. So it's going to be the complete process. And, and once you get this part down, you'll, you'll really understand it all. We cannot sell products back to the same totem we bought it from. We have to sell it to a different totem. That's the biggest thing. So let's walk through this one more time. We're going to start off every, t every process by clicking on the totem first. Then you click on that gold icon and then select trading. You're going to select trading at the beginning of, of all these marches. Um, choose your march queue. Then the next, the next part will be to choose exactly what you're going to sell back to the totem. So you click on one of those pluses. Then here's where they store all the stuff that you had bought. Remember, we sell a different, we sell to a different totem than we bought from. And I'm going to have an example for you in a, in a few minutes here. It'll be, it's going to be real simple to understand. Now you, you can check the prices and you can check what's for sale inside each totem by clicking on that gold icon twice and it will show you up top of the screen what they sell and then they'll show you at the bottom of the screen what you can sell to them and if it's in red, if you're bringing an item that's in red, that means that they're selling that item at that totem and that you would have to sell it at a discount so you don't want to sell it to them. So you can, looking at what is for sale which is listed at the top of the screen, uh, we know not to bring those two items. So one, one march at a time, we'll load up our carts, we'll send them to all the different totems. Uh, once all the marches are inside the totems, then we'll go back to the first totem and we'll click on the transaction button, which is right underneath the, the button we've been pressing the whole time. And that will bring us into a different screen where we can buy and sell all the products from inside the uh, inside the totems. But now what we'll, I'll, I'll walk you through this one more time just to make sure you have the concept down. Once you get it, then it's going to be pretty simple. But it took me a minute to get it. I had to have a little bit of help. So to help visualize this, I've set up two totems next to each other here. You have one on the left that's one star. The one on the right is a two star. And from the one star totem, we bought the stone axes. And from the two star totem, we bought the flowers. So we have to sell the flowers back to the one star totem. And we have to sell the stone axes back to this two star totem. And uh, that's, that's basically the whole concept. You cannot sell the items that you buy from the totem back to that same totem. Because they sell them at a discount. So they further discount it if, if you try to sell it back to them. So I think it, you, if you want to try to sell them back, it's like... 50% cost and just to clarify so no one gets confused you don't have to make long marches from one totem to the next you're always going to march to the totem that you're right next to so you'll see here in, the, in this little diagram 
that you'll buy from one totem you'll go straight back to your outpost and then while you're in the outpost you'll just load up the items that you bought from totem with the one star totem and you will march back to the two star totem with those items now once you click on the transactions button you'll go to a separate screen in this separate screen you'll see the buyer and the seller uh, pages what I've always done so far is I'll go to the seller part first and I will basically empty out my cart and they'll, they'll buy everything that you have. You, and remember, if it's in red, that means you're selling it back to them for, for less than you paid. So you want to make sure that you're not going to sell them anything that they sell there. So uh, once you've emptied out your cart and you've sold everything to them, then you can switch screens over and you can buy what you have to buy. I usually just buy one item, fill up my cart with that one item, and then I head back to my outpost. They give you a limit, they give you a daily limit as far as how much you can actually sell, which is a pretty high limit. I didn't even come close to it before I was done with the whole buying and selling. Uh, once you've made enough money from the commerce, you can go into the clan store. And at the very top of the clan store, you'll see an exchange system where I believe it's uh, 1,200 of the shells for 2,000 clan coins. So there's a little exchange rate that goes on there. And then uh, you can just basically trade in all of the shells you want to trade in for the appropriate amount of clan coins and then you can buy things like the shielding and all that with clan coins and you know really I think a, a good thing that this could do is it could help uh, eliminate certain parts of the game that's dangerous to a lot of the farming players I know that wolves is a good example you really need the clan coins from wolves uh, to, to shield over the for the war over the weekend but a lot of people get damaged doing wolves either they haven't got accustomed to it yet or they're in a, a, a server that that's in civil war and they get attacked well, you won't be able to get attacked at the at the merchant uh, doing this commerce. You can have a shield while you park next to the totem, and once you're inside the totem, you're safe. So it's a much safer way about doing business. And uh, now I'm sure there'll be a lot added to this to this feature as time goes by. So keep an eye out for any kind of update that might be coming through, and uh, go get rich safely. <laughs> so commerce in the brutal age. I'm gonna see how many shields I can buy. If I have a shield every day for the rest of my life, I may not get zeroed. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.